definitely. Where are we, Ross? Um, Hi. Right now we're at Doctor Strange Records in Rancho Cucamongo. We're waiting for the fresh traders. So far they're about 45 minutes late. We're hoping to get an interview with Mike Dern. I've been a fan for 17 years and I've never interviewed him. So hopefully today will be the day. Hopefully. All right. Hey, so it's DJ Rostar. I'm here with Mike Dirt. Uh, I'm going to ask you some questions that I'm pretty sure you've never been asked before. Is that okay? Go for it. These are real questions. Question one. Why was 2,000 Light Years Away written by Jesse Michaels, Rippins, and Davey C., and not you or Billy Joe? Actually, it was the riff was jammed by them, written by Billy Joe, in a, in a slight... Uh, formulation of what could have been a band never panned out and we ended up rewriting it in a way that Billy liked better and we put it out. Wow. Now I know Jesse obviously and Dave was a drummer at one point. Who is Rippins? Who is he? Dave Rippins is the bass player for a band called Crim Shrine and then later was the bass player for a band called Tilt. You may know Tilt from the t-shirt Trey's wearing in the Long video. Oh yeah. Question two. Do you remember what you say in the breakdown of Private Ale? Because no one can figure it out. Uh, Crystal Crack and Leaf Lovin'? Am I close? Uh, Leaf Lovin', Crystal Crack and... Something I don't know. Uh, all I know is we smoked about a uh, ounce of pot nice. or something uh, making that record. Just do yourself a favor. Record your record sober. <laughs> God. Well, I guess the same question could be for Android. There's another weird breakdown. I think you're saying something while the toilet is flushing. Uh, yeah, I think it's uh, actually I think it's Billy. Um, uh, his voice affected. This is uh, somebody else can do it. I know that. But before that, is some other mumbling. He's got a lot of mumbling. Reject yeah. at the end. We don't know what he says. You know the thing is, there is some irrevocable things that happen in the studio when you record as fast as we used to. You know, I mean, uh, we had, I think we did, our first record was done in three days or something, and, uh, you know, 39 Smooth, and then uh, Kerplunk was recorded the better part of like eight days. So, wow. Now, question four, who's clapping at the end of On the Wagon? Is that a live song, or are you clapping in studio? Uh, I'm trying to think. Um, uh, yeah, and you know, I think that was Captain Hay. Captain Hay? Captain Hay. Okay. Captain Hay is who we call in when we need claps. And Hayes and, and, and group vocals and stuff. Alright, question five. You're going to have to think really hard, okay? I'm a collector. I've got almost all your stuff. I want to see if I'm missing anything, okay? We got Sabrina Stewart. We got both the Screeching Weasel record and the 7 inch. We got the Squirt Gun self titled. Obviously, the Frustrators. We've got Foxborough Hot Tubs. We'll say the network just in case. Uh, we got the Jesse Mallon song, Iggy Pop. Is that it? Is there anything else you're on that I don't know about? Wow, I'm trying to think. That's, that's pretty good. You got the Sabrina Stewart, too. Yeah. I love that record. It's great. Um, uh, she's a great songwriter. She's doing crazy stuff now. Um, what else was there? Yes, there is other stuff. I'm just trying to think. A, some of the stuff we've done, uh, me and Trey had a culmination of a band years ago that we did, that uh, none of those songs will ever see the light of day, because quite honestly, they're not rated for human consumption. Um, and then, was, oh God, that's a good one, I'm going to have to think about that for a while, because there's, de collection, there's definitely more. Jeez. Well, well there's, um, there's the, uh... Uh, there's the Helsinki Fingers, which nobody knows. Ooh, what's okay. that? It's just, uh, you know, we did some worldwide recording, and there's some other things that popped up. Wow. Yeah. 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 And you got the Rodeo Queens, which is Yes, said. of course. So I might have it all, huh? You're close. Did you, you, have, did you, you actually... don't have it all. There's hundreds of songs recorded you don't have for sure. Did you actually uh, Not sing... all of them have a moniker. Did you sing for crummy musicians, or is that a rumor? I sang for crummy musicians on a tour. My friend Dave Barley actually sang for crummy musicians, but his mother wouldn't let him go on tour. So when I was 17... <laughs> Billy played guitar for Corrupted Morals, and I jumped on tour and sang for crummy musicians. There was nine of us in a van, and we, we did on nine, I believe it was nine shows, it was ten, uh, all the way down to New Orleans, Mississippi, Albuquerque, Phoenix, all of that stuff, and uh, I sang for crummy musicians. Wow. No recording exists. Yeah. And much like the frustrators, I wore a cowboy hat. But there's no recording, huh? There's no documentation, unless you no, have your own video. No, but uh, let me tell you one thing. Uh, the lyrics were very truthful. Skate for fun. Uh, I'll give you one more and then I'll let you go. We used to be best friends. Anyway, at, last question. At Storytellers, years ago, you told me, I asked you about cigarettes and valentines at the time, and you mentioned three songs. That one, Walk, I think it was Walk Away and Dropout. Listen to? Uh, Dropout, Sleepyhead, yeah. Yeah. What, what else is on that record? Is there any other titles that come to mind that maybe you reuse the music for future songs? You know what? There, 
ton of music that, quite honestly, um, you know, you may never hear it. You may hear tons of it. It's just there's just a, a shit ton of Green Day music that um, we need to make albums. So we wait and we still know why until it's time. But I think it's some someday, you know, we're gonna we're gonna have to clean out the attic, yeah. and people are gonna be stoked. So, uh, hey, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. Cheers.